Hi guys, this is Liz with Egghead Fixers. I'm an HP certified technician and we're gonna go over what to do when your computer turns on, has a black screen and gives you a three, two beep code. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my computer and I'm gonna demonstrate. I hit power and as you can see, it turns on. All right, let's diagnose that issue. Let's get inside the laptop. Okay, so a really common cause of that beep code of 3-2 is a RAM problem. So what I've done is I've unplugged my, um, you know, power source and also my power cord. Also, the battery is completely unplugged. As you see here, you want no power going into this laptop. Also, keep in mind, you want to touch things a minimal amount because your oils from your hands on the computer parts are not a great combination. So keep that in mind when you're inside your computer. So... First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's called reseating the RAM, which means unplugging it and plugging it back in because RAM can come loose over time, especially in laptops where you carry it with you everywhere you go. So I pull back on the arms, it pops open, pull it out, and then we're gonna really securely push it in, like so. Uh, here we go, same thing, really securely push it in, make sure there's no wiggle room, and snaps into place when you push down. Then you would try restarting your computer, see if it comes to life and works again. If that doesn't work, the next thing we will try is it could be one bad RAM stick. And RAM is kind of like headlights on a car. They tend to go bad one at a time. So what we're going to do is we're gonna use a process of elimination to see if one of these RAM sticks has gone bad. How are we going to do that? Let's do it. We're going to uninstall one RAM stick and then you're going to plug your battery back in, plug it back in, try turning your computer on, see if the problem goes away. If the problem goes away with this stick uninstalled, then you know this stick is bad and you need to replace it. Next, if it does not work, then we're going to try the other stick. We're going to reinstall this one stick of RAM and we're going to uninstall this one. You're once again going to plug your battery in. You're going to plug your cord back in. You're going to try turning your computer on and see, does it work with this one stick of RAM uninstalled? If it does, then you know this stick is bad. Uh, now, keep in mind, if you only have one stick of RAM, then you would have to order another stick that would be the same speed. So this would be the manufacturer, um, and then this is the speed you would need. So you would need to get a comparable one. Uh, so that's how you go A, replacing it, and that's how you would buy a stick to test with if you needed to. Now, another uh, scenario that is less common, but I'm going to mention it because it's worth mentioning, is sometimes there can be too much debris or dust in the port. You can try using some compressed air and, you know, cleaning it out. Just make sure it's completely dry before you start your computer back up. And keep in mind that the power cord would be unplugged and the battery when you were using the compressed air. Also, if you're not sure about it, you find it confusing when you look at the stick trying to find that RAM speed, well then you can always go on your manufacturer's website, HP's site, and look for you know what you need for your model. If you have any questions at all, please leave them down below. Uh, we are more than willing to answer them, but once again, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.